Hello guys, we have seen the dangling pointer situation in the last video. So class account holder is there and name is taken as character pointer. In the main function, I have declared two objects A1 and A2. So A1 is initialized with value 1, ABC and 10,000. So for A1, suppose this is the diagram. There is name, there is account number, then ACC holder name and ACC balance is there. So this is initialized to 1. For the account holder name, memory is allocated onto the heap. Suppose address of this memory is 1000, it is stored over here. And balance is 10,000. So this memory is initialized with ABC value. Now when I declare A2 object, it will take separate 16 bytes. And compiler's copy constructor will get called. So compiler's copy constructor will go for shallow copy. That means it will copy members as it is here. So there will be couple of pointers pointing to the same memory block. And then when the destructor is will get called for each of the object, then it will try to delete the same memory block two times. So it will lead to the runtime error. So this thing we have seen. Now if I want to remove this dangling pointer situation, then I have to write my own copy constructor in the class account holder. So suppose, I write copy constructor definition something like this account holder scope resolution account holder now it is taking argument of kind account holder only ampersand a so this declaration second declaration a2 object declaration will call my copy constructor so argument is object of account holder itself now here I have taken this object by reference. So there is a reason for that. So we'll see that later, but this reference is mandatory. So now what I'm supposed to do? A2 is passed to this function through this pointer. And A1 is collected in the reference A. So I have to go for deep copy only for name. Other members will be copied as it is. So I will write over here ACC NO equals to A dot ACCNO. So this is A1, uh, this is A2 objects ACCNO and this is A1 objects ACCNO. So this one is copied here as it is. After that, I will not say ACC holder name equals to A dot ACC holder name because I don't want to copy it as it is. Instead of that, I will allocate separate memory for this account holder name. So I will write here ACC holder name equals to new care how much memory i will allocate it is string length of this name so str len of a dot now this object is referred as a dot acc holder name plus one for null character so i will allocate this memory and after that so here there will be some other address when I say new care and I allocate memory some block will be allocated onto the heap and address of that is stored over here. And after that I will copy the contents of this block here. So that is using string copy function strcpy destination is first. So this dest destination is a2 objects name. So it will be acc holder name comma source will be a1 objects name so it will be a dot acc holder name so by this string copy this abc is copied over here so now this is deep copy that means when these two objects goes out of scope first destructor will get call for a2 object so it will make it will free the memory so it will free the memory which is pointed by this pointer and then destructor will get call for a1 object so that will free the memory which is pointed by this pointer so both the times some separate memory block is deleted and there won't be any dangling pointer situation so let's implement a copy constructor in our application so we have seen that because of dangling pointer situation this program is throwing runtime error so if i compile this g plus plus account holder 2.cpp hyphen o acc holder 2 dot slash acc holder 2 then this is the runtime error 
So if I want to remove this runtime error, I told you that I need to insert copy constructor, user defined copy constructor in my class. So let me insert that. How will be the declaration for that? The name of the function is account holder. It is taking argument of type account holder itself and I will pass it by reference. Let's write the definition. Constructor do not have any return type. Then after that I write name of the class, scope solution, name of the function is also account holder and argument is also account holder. So this will be the signature you can see and here I will write the definition for copy constructor. So when I declare a2 object account holder a2 inside parenthesis a1 then it is resolved something like something like this a2 dot account holder and a1 is passed explicitly so a2 is passed to the copy constructor function using this pointer and a1 is passed to the copy constructor explicitly which is received inside the a reference so in the definition i will go for deep copy as i told you into the theory part so I will copy the account number as it is but for account holder name I will first allocate the memory and then I will copy the block or using string copy function I will copy the contents of one block into other block into string or using string copy function and after that account balance also I will copy as it is so let me write the definition here so when I say ACCNO it is A2 ACCNO equals to A dot ACCNO after that ACC holder name equals to I will allocate memory new char string length of a dot ACC holder name plus one for null character and after that strcpy destination is ACC holder name comma a dot ACC holder name and after that ACC balance equals to a dot ACC balance. So once I insert this copy constructor now let me again compile and run. So now you can see that the error is removed runtime error is removed and if even if I display both the objects if I say a1 dot display and a2 dot display then both objects are same as expected because a2 is created from a1 as a copy of a1. So now let me debug the program so that we will see that at both the times separate memory is deleted when the destructor is called for both the objects the some separate block is deleted. So I will compile the program using hyphen g option first. After that I will run gdb dot slash acc holder to so it will start the debugger. Now first step is put the breakpoint b space main after that r for run so it is at the first statement a1 object is created using parameterized constructor so it is going inside the parameterized constructor after that a2 object is declared using the copy constructor and since we have user defined copy constructor it will go inside the definition of copy constructor that we have written so they are first is assigning the account number then allocating memory for account holder name then copying the name and after that account balance is assigned so again it will come inside the main so here a1 dot display so it will display the a1 object then a2 dot display it will display the a2 object and before return 0 it will call the destructor so first destructor is called for a2 object where a2 objects name block is freed and again destructor is called for a1 object where the name block for a1 object is freed so at both the times some separate blocks are deleted so there is no runtime error so i will quit so this is how we have removed the dangling pointer situation from our program. Now one more thing I will tell you here is instead of writing signature of copy constructor like this I will advise you to write signature something like this const. If it is advisable that you will write const over here. Now this is because 
compiler has its own copy constructor and in the copy const compiler's copy constructor the signature is mentioned like this so even we have to follow the same signature it is good practice so now also if i compile and if i run it is giving the correct output so this was about the copy constructor in c++ so please subscribe to my channel i will see you again